So here's our model volcano to help us investigate how volcanoes grow over time. I have a little bit of baking soda in the bottom of this uh, cup, and I'm going to add some vinegar to model some lava. I added a drop of soap just to make the lava show up a little bit better on camera. And then I'm going to record where that lava flowed by tracing it with my marker. Now I'm gonna clean this up and record where that lava went. Now that I cleaned up the initial lava eruption, I'm gonna record where that lava was by filling in the outline with some modeling dough. So I pressed the modeling dough all, everywhere where I saw lava flowing in the first round, and now I'm ready for a second eruption. Just like the last time, I'm going to record where the lava's flowing. And then I'll add more modeling dough. I use this red modeling dough to represent where the lava from the second eruption cooled. And there are some places on this edge where it overflowed the lava from the first eruption. And there's some other spots on this back edge that uh, were a little bit different than the first time. Let's do eruption number three and see what happens. I'm gonna record the edges of that eruption. So it looked to me like that last eruption had sort of a triangular shaped lava flow. And that's what I tried to represent with this uh, white modeling dough. I wonder how the lava is going to flow in the next eruption. It looked to me like that last eruption mostly stayed on the volcano, except a little bit in the corner where it spilled off into new territory. I wonder what will happen on the next eruption. That eruption mostly sent lava down one side of the volcano. Boy, our volcano is getting awfully tall. It's almost to the top of the cup now. I think this will be the last eruption just because I'm almost out of modeling dough. Here's our final volcano. It really got pretty tall and it has a rounded dome shape. I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Now with a real volcano, it would be pretty hard to cut a chunk out and look at it. But with the model volcano, it's pretty easy. Wow, look at all those layers.